Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, this is Star Renegades. It is a turn-based tactical RPG roguelike that I've actually been following for quite a while. And I am so excited that I finally have a slot to, uh, to play this on YouTube. If you guys like it after watching this, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you want to get the game for yourself, there'll be a link in the description. It's coming out September 8th. It is not out yet. September 8th is when you can pick up the game for yourself. Mysterious scientists. All right. The only thing left to do is to turn you on. Okay. Activate droid. What on earth? Beautiful. All systems go. Maybe this fight isn't over after all. Did a pretty good job making you look like a run-of-the-mill servo bot. That should come in handy. Now, just Justin? Is it Justin? Now Justin, we have to go outside. I'll let you lead the way. I'm gonna call him Justin. Okay, so this is kind of gonna be like our, our overworld, I guess, then. That's kind of interesting. I, I do <laughs> Wow, I kinda I kinda really dig the style of the 2D beats 3D pixel art here. Uh, Justin, it's gotta be Justin, right? These buildings usually aren't on fire. Shaka, just the attack just ended, but they'll be back soon to finish the job. We have to hurry. The entry point is right over there. Okay. Pay attention, J5. You need to walk through this portal to deliver a very important message for me. Find Professor Zurich. They're the only one I can trust. The only person I can trust. They might be a little testy, but that's just how geniuses are sometimes. Find them and play the message I gave you. Can you do that? T-shirt. Plant fairy t-shirt. I'll take that as a yes. Uh, countless lives depend on you doing that, though try not to let that give you a big head or sphere, I suppose. Go through the portal when you're ready. What's that? Don't worry about me. Your mission is the only thing that matters anymore. Okay, bye. Justin, Justin's out. Here we go. Let's hope this were. Cause... Mm. Okay. Yeah, I like I like how z it's kind of fun how super zoomed out it is. It's a, this is like your Final Fantasy uh, overworld map kind of style thing right here. I know that the combat I've seen the combat. The combat looks quite quite different uh, in a. And also very, very cool way. What did I say about not being... Uh, come here, give me whatever message you have. Ah, yes, genius. You self-absorbed piece of garbage. I'm in the middle of studying the most important, unexplainable quantum phenomenon in my career. So whatever this is, I hope it's reality shattering. Hello, Dr. Zurich. Okay, I guess this counts. Let's cut to the chase. I'm you and you're me. We're from different realities. I know this is highly confusing even to you. I've sent this hyper-advanced servo bot across the quantum divide to warn you. Your reality is under attack even as we speak. Does that have anything to do with the Q71 entanglement phenomenon you detected over Nurash? Precisely. You've certainly alerted the Star Union Council, and they've dispatched the Armada to investigate. You'll learn very soon that the Armada has been destroyed by a starship of unimaginable power cloaked in the entanglement. The ship is from another reality. Your goal is to conquer... Er, its goal is to conquer you and the entire galaxy. Oh, I know because they've already conquered mine. They've got to warn them. It's far too late. Is this? I mean, dang. I mean, you 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 do know yourself, but dang, this is a pre-recorded message, right? Warn them. It's far too late. But when the council calls, seeking your brilliant expertise on parallel realities, you'll need to have a plan ready. That's where I come in. I know the invaders' next move and how you can stop them. If you want to lead, uh, your world has a shot. You fail, promise me you'll send Justin through the next reality they invade because they will never stop. Ah, multiple attempts, gotcha. Now listen up, here's the plan. Meanwhile, over Norosh, a small force of mysterious raiders destroys the mighty Star Union Armada. Surviving starfighters attempt to regroup, pursued by the relentless enemy squadrons. Got the lighting, it's so nice. I don't know, man, it's so nice. Davian Sifix. Win, answer me. Let me know you're alive. I'm fine, Dav. Those enemy fighters are good, really good. Luckily, I'm 
managed to uh, land in one piece. Get points for missing all those buildings. Uh, zub, zub, crud. <laughs> zub, zub, crud. I've got more of those spiders on my tail. Where are they all coming from? Uh, they landed uh, by the train to Fort Garen. If I can land, or if I can get to the base in time, you can get those anti-aircraft guns online. My thoughts exactly. A lot of cutting off. A lot of these people just keep cutting each other off. Rude. That'll be a nice surprise for these fighters following me. Great plan. I'll calm you when I'm at the base. Over now. Okay. Not the best use of taxpayer dollars. So we can hover over. Citizen, citizen. You know what? Sure, these raiders. I mean, you know what? Let's. I, I want to see what the combat and stuff looks like here. I want to showcase that as quick as possible. Uh, I'm picking up some strange signatures on that train. Something tells me they aren't commuters. Raiders have ground troops too, then, eh? Oh, the screen broke. Something tells me that is very much a. Uh, like a Final Fantasy-esque screen break. And we are about to start our first battle, right? Eh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how they are in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, God. Yeah, see, this is what I saw right here, and I was just unbelievably... Like, I, I saw this combat screen, and I just needed to play. Prepare to meet my doom. I think you meant your doom. Oh, never mind. This will be a cinch. I'll take him out with a cleave. Okay. Combat basics. Combat in Star Renegades is deterministic, meaning you can see your enemy's actions before they execute, allowing you to defend, crit, stagger, or break them. All actions are displayed on the timeline according to their execution time in the round, except for instant actions, which execute immediately. Each round is 60 seconds. A unit's current health is shown in the status bars above their heads and consists of shields, health, and armor. Any effects are also displayed above the status bars. On enemies, you can see the action they're going to execute. Shields regenerate at the end of every combat. Health and armor can be increased or healed during camping or from health or and armor crates found during your missions. Okay. Shields are temporary per fight. Health and armor are not. Very important. So we only have one attack that we can do. So we can go for Cleave. Just does... It just does 35 damage. It seems like that's all, all we've got here. It gives us an example of what it's roughly going to do. Cleave! So we have to take this damage. It sure seems like. Oh my god! Over the top. I love it. He may be done, but I probably should hit him before he hits me. I'll recalibrate and crit him with a slash. A crit occurs when a unit is hit before they can execute their action. The crit bonus that is applied is shown below the attack powers or the attacking powers main information. Okay, right down there. Crits can do extra damage, break the enemy's attack, pierce shields or armor, damage armor, or have other devastating effects. Be careful, though. Enemies can also crit your heroes if they're hit before they can execute their attack. Fair enough. So we move right here. So I guess slash... It says up there, I believe this is probably how many turns it takes. So that's, like, basically, basically instant? trying to piece it together i'm trying to you know like it's always good to you know, listen to the tutorial but it's also good to uh, try and figure out why they're telling you to do what you're doing so you're not lost as soon as the tutorial's gone that got his attention i'll smash him with a hue to break him and stall his attack attacks can stagger an enemy's action delaying it to execute later in the round allowing your squad to execute more actions and crits before the enemy can act so it pushes them further along the line. The amount of stagger an attack will do when it crits is shown in green beside the stagger time delay icon. Ah, right there. Okay. Gotcha. With careful planning, you can chain attacks together to land multiple staggers on an enemy and break them by pushing them into the next round. So if you push them all the way off the bar, all the way back, they don't even get to attack that turn. However, enemies have a stagger limit denoting how many times they can be staggered before they're immune. This is shown on the timeline. Two, okay. 
Their stagger limit increases again after they execute their action. So we have to hit them twice in a row before their attack. Gotcha. Twice in a row before their attack to do the stagger. So yeah, this, this pushes them all the way back. Oh, baby. Okay. This is a, it's definitely an, uh, an intricate system. And I'm very into it. I could imagine this getting uh, complex in a very, very fun way. We'll see, though. Time to end this. A slash should finish the job. Okay. I mean, just because it does 25 damage. Just trying to piece together. Yeah. Just, I, I would love to piece together why we're doing what we're doing. It seems like hitting them first, we would push them back as well. But that's not going to matter because the sucker's dead. Boom, baby! Okay, I'm at the base. Just when I thought, uh, just when I thought it's been hit with some kind of EMP. Well, at least the coast is teleported in. Union techs have been researching that for decades. How these guys do it? They may be more advanced than us, but at least we can take them out in a fight. Let's see how I do against this next one. Just remember, with your training, and you'll be fine. Oh, help! Look at me go. So as soon as I step here, we're gonna fight. Bring it on, punk. Let's see how long it... Okay, so... Okay, the, just the first one took a long time. Oh, baby! Fire wolf. The Imperium will make you burn. <laughs> Sounds like you could use some ointment for that. Oh, now let's try a cleave. Okay. Yeah, it's not giving me options yet, which is okay. A cleave should push him off because we're hitting before his turn and he's at the very end there. It makes sense. God, the visuals are so cool. So cool. Ooh. I thought we pushed him into the next turn. Whoops, that didn't work. Maybe a lighter touch. Let's try Hue. All attacks have a core damage type that describes what, what kind of attack it is. There are light, normal, heavy, flurry, AoE, counter, and combo attacks. Adversaries may be weak to specific core damage types and take extra damage and delay from them. They can also be resistant or even immune to specific core damage types and take little to no damage or delays from them. Okay. Weak versus... Okay, and I'll tell you right up. Bye. So the sword right there. Either of these would not do it because they both have the sword there. There's the sword there. Gotcha. Hue is a completely different weak versus this kind. All right. I mean, does it let me... No, okay. It's not even let me try this slash. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You got rock, paper, scissored. And he's uh, bleeding. That's better. Now to slash him for another break. So why why would it do a break? Push him back 20 seconds. Is this one minute? Is that what this is about? Oh, baby. Shields down. Got him. His stagger limit is empty, so much for delaying him. I'll have to defend to minimize damage from his flame attack. Yeah, we have not even done that yet. Apply, so an extra 50% defense by defending there. Ooh, baby. Okay, pal, I'm getting sick of you. Let's try crack your armor with Sunder. Armor absorbs damage before it reaches health. Okay, that makes sense. The amount of damage that can be absorbed per hit is equal to the amount of armor they have. Makes a lot of sense. Total attack damage equals 56. Shields damage, 48. Enemy armor, 8. Remaining health damage. Okay, so since we, we do 56, they negate 8 because of the armor. And they had 48 shields. That means, okay, so then we would do 0. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It sounds complicated, but that's very standard. Uh, attacks that can cause armor damage on a crit uh, display the amount of armor damage done in the attack details. So that's what that symbol was. So eight, if we do that right away and he has eight armor and we get rid of that eight armor, we're going to do eight more damage on every attack for the rest of the fight, basically. But some attacks, of course, I kind of figured some attacks can pierce armor. Attacks or elemental damage types can pierce armor. Well, it doesn't damage the armor, 
It can bypass some and damage the health directly. Okay. Sunder. So it looks like, yeah, this is a uh, an eight armor break, but only on a crit, only on a crit. Because we're going before you, gotcha. I mean, I'm curious to see what situations were technically not going before them. His armor's completely broken now to finish him off. I'll crit him with a slash. We are going before him again. Gotcha. Bye-bye, boy. Such a cool guy. Now <laughs> he's already gone. I could use those guns right about now. I got a trail of fighters right behind me. I'm betting we're going to, you know... Party system? Sounds very, very fun with this. I bet you it's going to get really neat and very wild. Roger that. Yeesh. Little sis to the rescue, I guess. There's Fort Garen. I want to look at that. Fort Garen saw a lot of action in the Flux Wars, but now it's mostly used for training. Can we... Oh, okay. Look at that little cloud. All right. I'm gushing, I'm sorry. Okay, Dav, the guns are powered up. I'll leave these fighters right to you. It'll be like shooting Zub Zubs in a barrel. I don't know why I'm getting a kick out of Zub Zub. Uh, uh, where'd that ominous otherworldly ship come from? I got a bad feel. Interruption. Davian, pull up. Something else took remote control of the guns. Oh, no. Are we gonna? Get... <laughs> I guess I botched the landing. Yes, there you are. Dav, you're alive. Somehow, we've got to get out of here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just a little shaken. That was a close call. I found what you're looking for, mom. <laughs> He's as pathetic as you said he'd be. All right. Can we do two verse two verse one? Do we get to see what a party battle looks like? We get to see what a party battle looks like. Your life, it is nothing. Kind of sounds like dad, right? No. <laughs> Not time for jokes when, uh, remember, find the weakness, exploit it again and again. Maybe I am sounding like dad again. Use inspection mode to view a unit's stats and who they are targeting. While in inspection mode, you can also view their traits and effects to see what kind of weaknesses, strengths, resistances, etc. All that stuff that I was talking about before, they have. Gotcha. Okay, so we... When do you go? Is it telling me... How do we use... Okay, Z to inspect units. I see. So you are... Let's see... Weak versus heavy attacks. Minus 50% defense versus heavy. Plus 50% defense versus light. Okay, so we're looking for heavy. Flurry, AoE, heavy. So Vivisect. Vivisect is good. Do you have any armor? He does have two armor. We could Sunder. I don't know if that's where the cleave is also heavy. Strikes me as a potentially good way to start there. And then Vivisect is also heavy. Does a lot of damage. Ah, but we see, here's the thing. Can we can we go back on your turn? Cancer power. We might want to do something like this. Do we have a we don't have any heavy attacks that we can do earlier. We do we have Sunder. The crit bonus so so here's the thing. If we did this, we would not even get the crit bonus of uh, breaking the armor. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. We push you back there and then could we crit you? We would crit you. Oh, baby. This is so cool. And then, yeah, and then we go first, and we should maybe push you into the next, uh, the whole next day there, basically. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so the likelihood that we... See, we pushed him into the next section, but now he's very, very far on the left, so far on the left that we can't do anything about it. He's coming to attack you here. So we'll defend with her. 
And then we'll look for uh, just Vivisect again, heavy damage. Seems like not a bad idea. It's not going to be a crit or anything, but... Or will it? Because you'll... Nope. No crit. Gotcha. So that's when it's not crits. This is very cool. This is a very, very cool and uh, complex enough system while still providing all the information to you with the press of, like, Z. Win! Remember that combo attack we used to practice? The one where we took grab Dad's Grab Hopper and... <laughs> Oops. That's the one. Now's a good time to try it out again. Good idea. Just make sure we got generated enough fury. This game was published by Raw Fury as well. I thought I'd mention. Uh, same, you know, same people, uh, games we played recently. Uh, we played Atomic Crops, published by Raw Fury. Games developed by Massive Damage Incorporated. They did Halcyon 6, I believe it's called. Uh, but yeah, Raw Fury just published. Your heroes generate fury by landing crits and breaks. Crits generate one fury, breaks generate two. Use fury to execute special actions or combo maneuvers for devastating effects. Combos are special maneuvers that cost fury and are executed by executed, execute, <laughs> eradicate uh, by two of your heroes simultaneously. Each combo can only be executed once per combat. Combo are only available for heroes that have strong relationships, which can be increased during camping. We fire emblem. So we can't use it yet, though. So we're gonna need to get a a break or so we like push you back just a little that's that's a full see that's a full break where do we see the fury oh, it's down there we probably can't get the fury then huh does 35 and it's heavy i mean it seems like it's just the way to go so if we push them off the edge entirely here and then we go, do we still crit? We do still crit. And then at the end, he would get pushed all the way off. We didn't even need to do that super move. We couldn't do the super move. We didn't get enough fury. A temporary setback. Mom shall soon have her victory. Oh, hello, my boy. Stay back, win. I'll take care of this guy. What he lacks in charisma, he makes up for in hideousness. Mama only wants you, Davy, and Sifex. She has no interest in the female. No way you're doing this solo, Dad. We need to work together to defeat him. Dad gonna die? Okay, so we can, in theory, do this. It's a crit. It's a teamwork crit. Is there a reason to not do it? I don't think there's a reason to not do it, right? Sifex slam! Okay, that is really neat. Now he's ble- oh my god, he's got a wild amount of armor. Harold. Uh, so let's hit Z here. Harold is bleeding. He has no strengths or weaknesses. Oh, he's a, he's a stone cold killer. He does. Okay, so he's going to shred all of our armor entirely here uh oh uh takes we can hit him back three times what does the most knockback oh my god Hugh does like a lot uh, i think we need to do some arm like massive armor shredding i don't know if this is like a fight that we're just not supposed to win though i wouldn't be too shocked we gotta make sure it's important what order oh spacebar to skip that's a nice feature. I always like that. Always like that. Now if this has taken far too long, the results are inevitable. Dav, get back. Be careful. Dav's dead. Ain't he? Kill shot. I mean... I mean, Dav, like... What can I say except... You're very clearly supposed to die here. Unless we can interrupt the attack by knocking back... No, it didn't say break. Okay, so this one's not a break. That would not break. Back 15 seconds. So this one really wouldn't break. 
So Slash would do it. And then you just... Gotta help you, I guess. So does the break interrupt the attack? It does. So the defend was useless. I see. I think we... Uh, I mean, let's be honest. I think this is a um, he's supposed to die scenario. We're not even going to get the crit for the extra armor. Yes, 700 damage. That's something that I'm sure we could have protected. Oh, God. The question is, like, what happens now? How are you supposed to get out of this? No, this can't be happening. Mom, I've done what you asked. Bring me back. I cannot last much longer. Really? You seem like you're doing totally fine to me. Don't give up, Dab. I can't do this without you. The attack stopped after that, but it was too late. The Star Union fleet was crippled, and you were dead. That was a diary. We buried you on Trigaxis near the Quantum Studies Department of Trax University. You were always the star student. General Geddon spoke at the ceremony, said now wasn't the time for despair. We had to remember our values to fight for our way of life. He wasn't very... It, he, it wasn't just empty rhetoric. He introduced me to Professor Zurich, the lead researcher in the Quantum Studies. The two of them had a plan to beat the Raiders, so they needed me to lead an elite team of heroes. They promised me a shot at revenge. How could I say no? The Imperium. Here's the throne room. It's where you can view details about the Imperium hierarchy, all the currently known leaders, behemoths, and adversaries. From time to time, you'll be brought here to witness events such as deaths, promotions, introductions within the Imperium. You can also access the Imperium throne room directly from the main menu. Adversaries are the elite soldiers of the Imperium. They are stronger, tougher, and have unique special traits and abilities. They also have unique personalities, so no two adversaries are ever the same. Adversaries can also be promoted, evolve, grow stronger whenever whenever they are able to defeat you. Defeating an adversary usually results in a rare or epic reward. Okay. So for example, we probably, uh, yeah. Finally a chance to show a parental figure. I can amount to something. Thank you, mother. Hates concussion damage. Oh my God. It's like the, uh, the Shadow of Mordor system. Strength. Okay. So we do get to know like what he's uh, he's weak to. This is the bad boys, right? Sure seems like the bad boys. Close. Oh, there's the Omega Behemoth Herald. Oh, I've done a bad thing. I got caught. Oh no, my window. I have it on borderless window, but it, the mouse isn't locked. That's something I'll have to <laughs> figure out. It's probably in the menu cross that bridge when we come to it so we can get revenge of course how could I say no do we actually have a team sorry about that the engineer said the landing would be smoother I've gone through the worst I've gone through worse landings lately as long as you and Justin survive it's a success in my book you should help your companions with their pods seems they're having a little trouble with the hatches Oh, on it. Come on, Justin. Help me out. Ooh. Zerks Nerza <laughs> joins the Renegades. How was the trip? Ah, praise Lord Botula for delivering us safely to Battlefield. Yeah, yeah. Titans be praised, etc., etc. I get it. Look, you're not going to try to convert me again, are you? Okay, so there's one team member. And who else we got? Oh... Uh, no, no, Calthoris joins the Renegades. I'm locked and loaded and ready to roll out. Let's smoke these bogeys. What are you doing? Just talking a little Space Marine. Don't like it? You can switch to Noto Normal style. Yeah, why don't you do that? No problemo. Normal it is, boyo. Enough chit chat. So I think those might be like randomly generated characters, which would be very cool if true. Enough chit chat. Move out and take control of that Imperium base. Kill anything that slows you down. Don't get cocky, though. Their most powerful warrior officer is stationed at the base. We'll be in contact to provide mission specs along the way. 
Lock and load, boyos. Time to tag and bag some Imperial drones. Imperium drones. Now roll that. All right. See, I told you that's how Space Marine talks. Uh, my spiritual teachings tell me that both paths are favored for our objective. Your wisdom clearly knows no bounds. Boss lady, I don't think these fundamentalists... Fundamentalists are big on sarcasm. What is sarcasm? I get it. You're being sarcastic right now. Sarcastics right now. Are you? Am I? All right, so let's check our squad here. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so he's got discharge, an AoE attack, bestow shields, give somebody 50 shields, and defend. Okay, pretty straightforward. Cards, uh, armor piercing, plus 25% armor piercing, last two combats, because he's a friend. Okay. I know your moves, generally. Okay, and then we got Nodo Calthoris. I could, be, I could be totally wrong. These might not be randomly generated at all. Uh, straight shot, blitz, defend. So just, a, yeah, pretty normal. Blitz will reduce their defense on a crit, which is nice. Gets two cards. Patter, heal health, 33%, crit defense, plus 50%, minus two combats. So we use those, I'm assuming, at camp, like they were saying, which might be kind of like a, uh, you know, like a Darkest Dungeon style camping system. Food dispenser. Gain a food card. Blocking a food dispenser. It's Titan hand about the mystery, the magic, the mystique of Titan hands. In the end, it's just a hand, but a really odd, really old hand. I dare you to go stand inside that hand. Don't worry. They never squeeze shut. Well, almost never. Okay, let's check out. We got to check out the chest. You better believe it. Credits crate. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get in our first fight. So this is like our... We seem like we might have escaped tor Tutorial Town. Tutorial's Tutorial Town Emporium. All right. This is really the only issue I've found with the game so far. It's just that these fights take a little while to load. But it kind of makes sense. It's like completely different visual style. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so we got two two fools. Let's check out what are they weak to. Are they weak to the same thing? They are not weak to anything, but they're not strong to anything either. But now that there's two units, we have a little bit more to think about. Discharge, we could AoE, of course. Does it... Oh, it pushes them both back. See, that's the nice thing about AoE right there. That Because normally, like, you know, with action economy in games, you want to make sure that you're focusing down one specific one so that you know you don't have to worry about their damage later but aoe pushing both of them back at the same time now that's a different story it makes aoe seem a little bit more favorable uh, even with you know potentially not very high numbers so that's really cool so we got kind of our support and we got just a, another fool that's basically kind of the same as what we got these guys have armor no armor 30, say, okay, so this guy is a little bit weaker. We'll go for this one, I guess. Can we knock you back? Cleave does more, but it's a lot slower. If we knock you back with the AoE, that's definitely what we'll do first. Cleave, we could, uh... Hmm could knock that guy off entirely with the straight shot we could push this this one off i mean we'll do that actually or wait hold on that that's the one that has uh like fractionally more health isn't it yeah let's do that Let's get the one with fractionally more health out of the way. And we can boom. Boom. I do kind of want to see these attacks, though. I probably shouldn't uh, go through. I don't want to speed through the ones that I've not seen yet. Okay, so we did not push one of them off, so we did indeed take some damage. It ate through our shields just like a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking that discharge... Again, is a good idea. Does an extra three damage on crits. Who's about to take damage? They're both going to attack her, though. So, you are which one? 
Which one are you? You are the front one. Okay. So can I push... First of all, does that kill? That does kill... Does 20... Straight shot does 25. That is... That's pretty good. Okay, I want to see where does that put them. Can we... Does not break you. It does not break you, you say. Does Cleave break you? No. No! It doesn't even break him? It pushes him off, but it doesn't say break, which makes me think it, it won't. Maybe that's something they have. Uh, okay, hold on. So we could cancel that and maybe potentially bestow shields then. We'll kill you. We can't knock you back with that. We can, we, I think we want to make sure we get the crits off. And then we shall bestow shields upon you. Hopefully it should happen before their attack. Wait, yes. As long as that kills. Okay, good, 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 good. God, it's so cool. Even just the little heals there. Okay, so see, yeah, we took we took another three damage, but I much prefer that to taking whatever, like, 50, 40 damage we would have taken otherwise. I have a sneaking suspicion we can do almost anything. Maybe not. Yeah, we can. All right. Good deal. Bye, punk. We got four DNA. If I kill these guys, we can all go home, probably. So that's our, uh, that's our final fight guy, I'm guessing. Looks like there's a sword chest here. Imperium Tech Common. What? Oh, baby. Thrallbane, a legendary. Inflicts five seconds stagger on all attacks. Oh, my God. Can be equipped by... And it, it says who can equip it. Drains two to eight shields on all attacks, plus 5% crit damage. I feel like this on that guy is not that big of a deal. Like, extra damage percentage. Like, the drain is cool. Uh, fast mover. All attacks execute five seconds faster. An extra five seconds stagger. See, that is interesting. Pushing them all back with the AoE an extra five seconds and it being faster is really, really cool. All attacks inflict an extra five seconds stagger, extra armor piercing, extra shield piercing. I mean, actually go for this. It'll be decades before we can produce tech like this. Pyrrhum tech is way more advanced than ours in every way, so feel free to steal anything you can. I wouldn't mind the opportunity to analyze it. You say steal? Now you're speaking to my lingo, Professor. Great tech, but has anyone noticed the Imperium soldiers are a little off? Best guess is that the cross-quantum journey makes a toll on the brain functions. Uh, this would explain why they're networked into an advanced AI neural net. Although anyone would guess why they refer to their AI as Mama. Telling me... You're telling us we're facing an army of mindless, psychotic drone soldiers with mommy issues. Sounds about right. All right. Come on, boss boy. This must be a test mom. Mama has sent me on. I'll do this for her if it'll give me her favor. All right, punk. I'm going to stomp you. I'm going to show you what's what. Okay, so. So wait, we need to do... We need to hit them that many times before they get pushed off, right? Is that what I... Uh, forgot about. Yes, that is what I forgot about. Oh no, it's still not breaking. Hmm. Oh yes, it is. It, it is, they're being pushed off. It just doesn't really look like it. Gotcha. 
It doesn't say it doesn't have to say the word break. We did take a hit though. First of all, this seems really nice. So this one guy's not even moving because he's not moving because he's down to zero because we pushed him back into this into this turn and we can't push him back any further. Very cool. Uh, could we like legit just straight up kill him? Will we get crit? We will get a crit here. It doesn't do as much as I would like. He's attacking you. I think we might just find success in defense here. Uh, yeah, let's let's maybe just do a little bit of defender in. Cleave. We can't get a crit off on you. Could we do it with slash? We could. Although I don't know that that matters. You get a little bit of extra damage. Is mostly the biggest thing there. But they all got they they're all gonna reset there for mommy. They're all gonna reset there, which means that discharge should do a really good job of uh, getting us a group knockback there, pushing that guy probably into just mostly the next turn. He's got two armor still. This crit would uh, would shred his armor. I think that's a good idea. And 35 is that enough to kill? It's not enough to kill. We might be able to kill the uh, the boss boy in time here. I I don't know. God, we got to be careful. If we don't push him off, we take the damage. That's the problem. If they attack, they'll get a little surprise. Overwatch on. Oh. What does that do? Cannot be delayed. Cannot be delayed. Overwatch hit. 20. So if we hit him, or if we hit you, covered. Has covering fire from an ally. So if we attack you, do we get the 20 damage there, or which? See, that's a that's an important question, huh? Uh, you're just protecting. I kind of want to try to kill anyways. Let's bestow shields, and then... It's not... Yeah, it's not going to kill. I just kind of want to see what would happen. Wait, what did it say? Return fire? Did it tell me what it... Did it tell me what would happen? So he'll return fire if we hit him there. Gotcha. This guy's far too early on there to uh, really do anything else. We can't apply the crit here, so we can't get him the extra armor penalty, which would have been a really, really nice thing to maybe do a little bit earlier. Maybe we should have kept that in mind. Okay. Our shields are getting knocked down a bit. There, now this fight should go my way. If they attack, they'll be met with a surprise. It's the Overwatch again. All right. I, I don't think it's gonna be met with as much of a surprise as you uh, maybe want. Once again, we, we still can't crit you, which is sort of the uh, the benefit here. We can't knock him back. Who's taking the hit? You are, okay. Same deal, bestow shield. We should really have done that first then, huh? I think I might have missed, clicked. Kill shot. So there's no more, uh, Yeah. Wait, what's up? Did somebody not get to attack? Retreat. Ah, is that why? No retreat for you. So if we didn't kill him that turn, he would have ran away, and then maybe he would have had a chance to get even stronger, perchance? Ooh. That's kind of cool. Like, the nemesis system. He could get uh, stronger over on that thing that we were seeing in the throne room. All right. Good deal. 
Camping card reward, the dynamic duo partnered finishing blow between between these two? I uh, exhaust when used. Okay. Be cool to see what that quite looks like. This is my fault, right, mama? Killed. Poof. Gone. Very cool. I love that. But you know what, gang? That is going to have to be where we call it for today. If you want to see more of this, do let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, the game is going to be out on Steam September 8th. Published by Raw Fury, developed by Massive Damage Inc. I had a lot of fun with it. It's very... It, there's a lot to it in the combat system. And it's really... It, it, it seems like it would be compl like very complicated, but... Really, once you get down the, uh, the pushback effects... I, with the whole timeline and everything, it's not as complicated as you would think. Like, a lot of the information is really just displayed for you. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for today. This has been Star Renegades. I very much enjoyed it. If you, yeah, if you want to see a series, let me know with the comments. If you're brand new here, consider subscribing because I put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day. If you like games like this, uh, I can help show you a whole ton of them. A metric buttload. So many, you won't know what to do. Thank you for watching, thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.